Legalize nuclear bombs. So a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about my upcoming mod called the Mangled Hound. And I asked you guys to give me a few questions uh, regarding the mod so we can do like a Q&A type thing. Where I can just give you guys a little bit more information about the mod without obviously spoiling too much. So let's not waste any more time. Let's see what you guys have been asking about the mod. First of all, a lot of people were guessing what this creature is actually inspired by. And most people did get it right, it is inspired by Mango from Five Nights at Freddy's. Mango is one of my favorite animatronics from the franchise and for a while, like a year ago or something, I suggested the thing is that we could make some kind of a Mango type mod where uh, it's not obviously a robot because that makes no sense in Minecraft, but we make like a living creature version kind of of the Mango, but it's also its own thing, you know what I mean? Because I feel like we designed it perfectly where you can tell that it's inspired by Mango, but also it's just really its own thing at the same time so I'm honestly super happy with how the whole model came out at the end a lot of people were uh, asking about using voice chat to implement uh, the whole like creature hearing you and stuff and I did ask Raptor initially about this uh, if we could do that use the voice chat mod and he said we can do it now does that mean that it's literally impossible to do that right now probably not but something like this would be incredibly hard to do right now because you have to like fully properly code everything in it it's you know it's just really hard to do and our developer Rupter, he said he doesn't know how to do it so i'm just gonna take his word and if it's gonna be easier to do sometime later we we can add that later because this will this mod will keep getting updated that's a good thing compared to something like a siren head which we don't work on anymore i do plan on having this mod being updated as time goes on so eventually if minecraft does add some kind of like a easier way of adding this we can do that i really hope this guy will have some actual lore behind it we can definitely come up with some lore for it for now that's not the main focus and we'll probably release a version of the mod before it's gonna have lore and we might do like a lore update later as i just said we're gonna do hopefully a lot of updates for this mod in the future so we can definitely do some kind of like a lore update where we add a bunch of stuff like maybe structures that relate to the thing and then you know what i mean i feel like we're gonna be very flexible with just being able to add Add more stuff to the mod later on this looks so cool i'm just wondering are you going to be doing a series on it uh like you did with siren head good question because i don't know i still haven't fully decided how i'm gonna make content on this mod i'll probably do one video the first gameplay video of the mod and then i might just do a movie and not a series because I don't know, doing the whole series and then putting it together, I don't know, it's just a lot of work. I might just, uh, I might just record a long ass thing and just edit it into like a 40, 50 minute video and release just that. Question, does it have any weaknesses? Well, this is going to be a, a similar type of mod as Siren Head where you're not really supposed to fight it. It's supposed to be way stronger than you, so you're supposed to hide from it and stuff. However, it will have the weakness that it doesn't see well, which is why it's going to be able to hear you. So you can count that as a weakness, but otherwise it's going to be very strong. It's going to be very fast and you're gonna have to try and do everything to avoid it, not, uh, you know, fight it. This is more of a general question, but do you ever plan on making this mod slash any horror mod that will have a little more gameplay to it? Some kind of boss fight or more interactions with it, like placing traps would be really neat. Very interesting question. To answer the first part with the whole uh, more gameplay thing, actually, yes. When you're gonna get into a chase with this mod, things are gonna get very interesting. Cause it, it won't just like run at you and then just kill you and stuff. There's gonna be some new stuff happening if it catches you. This is gonna be one of the coolest parts of the mod in my opinion, so I don't wanna spoil anything here. But like the attacking slash chasing part of this uh, mod is gonna be very, very fun. And for the second part with the whole trap thing and stuff, that actually sounds very interesting and you may have given me a few ideas of what we can do. So we'll definitely take that into account. Can it oil up? What the fuck? Make him leave footprints. That's also a very interesting idea and we might actually do the opposite of the player leaving footprints and then he's gonna be able to find you over your footprints or something like that. I, that's some. That's an idea I had. I don't know if we're gonna be able to implement that, but I will try uh, and ask the Raptor if we can get something like that going. It would be insanely cool if the monster would never despawn and just go somewhere to sleep while it's daytime. Like in a cave, but you could still wake it up if you're too loud or too close and the monster 
uh, would always be around so it'd have to be on edge constantly it's gonna be something like that but not with the whole never despawning thing it's gonna have multiple like stages for example in like the first one it's gonna be just roaming around doing kind of its own thing attacking other stuff which i think makes it really cool because it makes it feel like you're actually in this world where not everything is about you. This is the reason why I really like Ark Survival Evolved, for example. Because in that game, you have all these, like, dinosaurs and stuff that are hostile towards each other and stuff. So you got this whole, like, nature system actually going on and you're just there and you can see these dinosaurs are attacking each other and it's not all about you you know what i mean that, that's why i feel like it's cool that we're gonna implement the fact that it's gonna be attacking other mobs because it just it just makes sense but yeah so it's gonna have multiple stages first one's gonna be just him doing its own thing and then in other stages it's gonna start actually if it notices you it's gonna actually start attacking you and stuff so you're always gonna have to pay attention to what he's doing where he is and if he's currently a threat to you or not can it jump? It would be cool seeing it jump kind of like Godzilla in Godzilla vs Kong. Probably not. I feel like that would look a bit too goofy and this is gonna be more of like this horror entity and it's supposed to be super scary. So don't think it's really gonna have a jumping mechanic. Will it be able to swim in waters? We haven't uh, had a horror mod that primarily lives on land but can swim. It's definitely gonna be able to swim. We don't want a player to just be safe if it goes in the water. Will there be a biome specific place? It won't spawn in any specific place. I don't really like doing that with mods, that's why also Siren Head spawns pretty much everywhere. I feel like if you're limited to a certain biome, you just run into the issue of people not seeing the mod like ever, especially if someone's using something like a biome so plenty or something. So it's probably just gonna spawn everywhere. But for now, it will be like a surface uh, creature. It, uh, we might do like, a, again, there's gonna be a lot of updates for this, so we could add it to uh, make like a cave version or something. Will it give the player special effects? It's definitely gonna do quite some stuff, that's all I'm gonna say. Will it have easter eggs? Siren Head could flip you off. Perhaps it will, but I'm not gonna say what it is, because you know, it's an easter egg, so that ruins the whole point. Is it a dweller copy, and is it related to the mangled one? Uh, it is not a dweller copy, it's a completely different separate entity. And it's not related to the mangled one, the mangled one is just a dweller reskin that was also inspired by like the mangle, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I would have actually called the mod the Mangled One, but I knew that it, there's already like a Dweller reskin that's called that, so we can't, uh, that's why we called it the Mangled Hound. I was gonna go for just the Mangled, but I felt like that's way too close to just the Mangle from FNAF, so I, I, didn't, I didn't like that name. Will it try and destroy your base to get to you? That is a very interesting question, because it's really hard to answer. I still haven't properly decided on the whole block breaking thing because I know a lot of people don't like the whole block breaking mechanics in the horror mods but at the same time it's like how do we prevent people from just sitting in like a fucking house and like you know what I mean what do we do in that case it's just a very weird situation where if we make it break blocks people complain about it breaking blocks and if we don't people complain that it's too avoidable and you can just hide in the house like it's just such a weird situation where you just can't get it right so i don't know yet we're still gonna decide on that and how to implement that whole thing will there be a way to defeat it and if so will it drop anything unique as i said before uh we don't really plan on having this be like a mob that you fight is the mangled hound set to despawn a certain time after he summons regardless of the player being in entity render distance the Mangled Hound actually won't despawn uh, after it spawns in until it's gonna kill you or you manage to avoid him. So once he spawns in, he's just gonna stay there until uh, something happens, basically. I got a question, can this mod be compatible with Dwellers? Uh, it should be compatible with any other 1.19.2 mod and all the Dwellers, uh, I'm pretty sure, are on 1.19.2. So, yeah, it should be compatible with all the Dwellers. Keyheads, how will this affect LeBron's legacy? <laughs> You are my sunshine. All right, I think I went through most of the questions here uh, that you guys left. Uh, you guys left a lot of uh, similar questions as well. So I obviously didn't go through all the ones that are just repeating. So yeah, Raptor and Dingus putting a lot of effort into the mod right now. Uh, we did have some issues with a mechanic we tried to do, which took quite a few days and we're now doing something else to make up for it. 
But if I had to guess when uh, you guys will be able to see the release of this mod, at least a version, maybe around Christmas time-ish. It's unfortunately not really up to me when that's gonna be. Um, I'm trying not to be rushing the devs too much, you know, because I do want this to be a well-made mod. At the end of the day, I feel like that's more important than when it comes out. I do guarantee to you guys that you'll be able to see some gameplay of it before the end of the year, but I still can't say when the release is gonna be. But whenever the mod is gonna be almost finished or at least finished to a very decent degree i will be making like a full-on trailer for uh, the mod like i uh, did with siren head so be on the lookout for that i think that should be everything regarding the mangled hound for now i hope this video clears up some of your questions and i'll see you guys tomorrow with a reddit monday <laughs>